Good evening, everybody. Got a pretty cool little story. I hope you can see it as well through the video. But as I said before, I got a lettuce sea slug as well. My guy, unfortunately, I got home from work one day and he was on his back against the power head. So, obviously, pretty beat up. So, got him off. Put him on the rock, actually on a sand bed, and he was missing all of his lettuce, phalanges, whatever the case. As you can see, hopefully, he's got quite a bit back, and I wish he was in a different spot. I don't know if zooming is going to help or not, but you see that little bulb? towards his head well his eye his eyes or antenna whatever those two things at the on his head are those grew back pretty quick and as you can see his lettuce on the back side it used to be all the way to the front and the only reason I knew he was alive because he sat on the top of that rock right there for a good three or four days and the only way I could tell he was alive was because that bulb was pulsating with his breaths so that was probably about a week, two weeks, nah, maybe two or three weeks ago. But as you can see, he has significantly grown back, which is just a cool thing. And he's still as active as usual. Spends a lot of time on the glass, of course, but he also does spend a lot of time on the sand bed and rock. Got some really cool pictures of him, but even though my wife's a videographer, I don't know how to do all that stuff so I guess you'll just have to deal with my live shots everybody's doing good and having a good old time tonight but I'll just give you a quick run through the tank got a uh, I just noticed tonight that I've got these two little polyps down here in the bottom in the cave that must have fallen off of that guy or that guy didn't mind having the little, little green angel, uh, green hair algae right there that's perfectly fine I don't think that'll get anything any widespread a little filtration a little food for the crabs and the sea slug the anemone is firmly entrenched in this rock can't see it but his foot is all the way down to the bottom of the rock and that dude is just chilling He's in a good spot too because when I feed I get the water flow comes around the back side and then comes up to the front so when I feed I drop right here to the left of the return and it just all filters down like snow and he catches a couple pieces but I also target feed him at least once a week Singularity is looking good and actually on the tip of this rock I noticed a couple of zoas that were waving with the wind with the waves they fell off and landed right there, so we'll just let them stay there. Eventually this leather will be full of shade on this side, but I don't think it'll be enough to kill these guys. Only little four little polyps popped off. But anyway. <clears throat> like I said in previous videos, I mean the, the sponge of realize it's probably a sponge I'm probably 90% that the red is uh, dark red is a sponge of course I do have a little bit of coralline whether or not that's affecting the coralline growth I don't know if the I mean I know the corals for the most part will take in some calcium I do dose every now and again when necessary so but anyway that's where we are. I said it was going to be a quick op update, but it turned into a four-minute video. Y'all have a good night.